what's happening, good people? <laughs> we thought we'd come in a little more slow this time around, seeing as I just want to make sure that everything in the world is right tonight, being that it is a beautiful, blistery, wintry, snowy, disastrous, crappy storm outside. It, it is cold out. There is no doubt. And it's the Christmas episode. Yeah. Perfect, so perfect timing for it. If you just tuned in and you wondered uh, what you've tuned into, well, this is Thursday Night Live, and we're live. We're live. We think we're live. We're double checking. Oh. We Hopefully. are live. And you can hear us. Hopefully. And can you hear us? Check. We got to check the <laughs> comments here because the idea behind the comments is I can't figure out how to get over to the comments. <laughs> there they. There they are. Is if we do not have audio, everybody seems to let us know before we know. Yeah. And it's always 10 minutes after the show starts yeah. to get to that comment. Yeah. And probably get a phone call from Cam and Jim and, and text messages saying, hey guys, your audio is not working. But anyways, so if you're wondering about the outfits, well, I chose that one for <laughs> Tim. And I definitely chose that one. Yeah. So we said, hey, you buy me something to wear so maybe we'll do this more often but maybe we won't <laughs> look at those glasses i mean here i am Ugh. feeling extra festive tonight <laughs> i have a hat that doesn't fit a shirt that's three <laughs> inches too short i have pants on that you don't want to see <laughs> and at the end of the day it doesn't matter because we're in the festive christmas spirit and that's what it's all about folks all about. we're gonna tie some flies we're gonna drink some beers Probably most important tonight is a big shout out to all the folks sitting at Trax Pub yeah. watching us live on the big screen. So What's Trax up, Pub, uh, make some noise if anybody's there. <laughs> and if you're not, <laughs> we'll make some noise at home and a round of uh, finger clicks for everybody at Trax Pub who drove up in the blistery weather to be with us sort of tonight. tonight. It's amazing. And when the show is over, we will be over there with yeah. everybody at Trax Pub enjoying a frosty beverage. Another. I need to finish this one because we have I something know, some even ones. better that okay, showed well, we up. just chug that one and be done. Let's do it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap, folks. Ah, so if you do oh, yeah. want to chug a beer <laughs> and you want Tim to join you, that's mm. easy. You just have to say, hey, Tim, chug a beer. These are probably the worst glasses that you've ever purchased. <laughs> I think they're great. For me. I believe. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see. So, uh, without much further ado, we're going to try yeah. our best to keep this one to a, a tight, restricted schedule. Yeah. We're we'll going to go join our friends. But we're here with all of our friends. I know. <clears throat> but what we need to do, if I can ever find my mouse, is Mr. Ryan Storch is in the house. I heard today oh. was your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Rise Flies. So if we could give a round of clicks to our good friend in Airdrie, Alberta, Canada, who ties some spectacular flies. Everybody attracts. I don't know if Ryan's there, but if he is, give him some birthday bumps. All right, happy birthday, Mr. Ryan Storch. Hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, you didn't think you were going to get away with this one now, did you, bud? No way. All right, folks, if you haven't wished, that's a wish with an H, and it's pronounced wish. If you have not wished Mr. Storch a happy birthday, now is the time to get into the comments and say happy freaking birthday Mr. Storch yeah yeah that's probably my favorite version yeah, of happy list. birthday me too I don't know where it's from oh man I do but I don't December so December birthdays though that's yeah that's a topic all to itself I know it's Terrible. like do you get double the gifts or half the gifts at two to Different times. Two different times, yeah. <laughs> the uh, same man. amount of gifts split up over two different times. It's terrible. That's yeah, it's terrible. so there's that. So, well, well folks. Uh, where are you from and what are you drinking? Where are you from and what are you drinking? Ooh, you My name's on me? Dana. 
And I'm Tim. I'm from Olds, Alberta, Canada, where Trax Pub is located. Shout out to all the old people. Yeah, yeah. And a good friend of ours, Justin Fisher, he just dropped this off before he went over from Trax. And Justin Fisher is all the way from Lethbridge. Yeah. That's so he drive. made the drive to be here with us. And more importantly, he made the drive to drop us off some of the beer from his neck of the woods. Yeah. Blind man, not blind man. Old man, Old man Brewing. River Brewing. Good well, folks, you can see like that, that the pace tonight is a little more chill than last week because that is the festive <sighs> spirit of Christmas. And Tim, yeah. why don't you tell everybody what Thursday Night Live is all about? Oh what it's all about. So what we do here on Thursday Night Live, folks, uh, we meet once a week on Thursdays, as it's coined in the name. Uh, we have a total of 20 episodes um, each season, at least for this season it is. Um, and each night we come together and we tie <clears throat> two flies a night. And that's just a minor part of what we do. Um, but I'll take you through two different patterns tonight, and we do that every other night as well. But um, on the flip side of it, we're actually here for a lot of other reasons, and we all get to hang out. It's an awesome community. Things have really come together with people and friendships and all these other things that have built out of something that started with just tying a few flies. Um, but what Thursday Night Live is and what we actually are able to do for you guys as well um, that we haven't done in, in years past, we did last year, but um, is we have kits available. So if you, tonight when you hear me talking about what I'm tying out of and if I'm referring to a kit, what I'm actually referring to is a kit is a kit so this is something that we have done this is our second year um, and so we have all the flies and all the, the second materials. year that we've packaged kits yeah, second year like this like this not if you're confused because that says four <laughs> yes that does say season four um, and then inside you're gonna have 20 full episodes you can see this one says season four episode two and uh, in there you have enough materials to tie each of those flies that we're gonna do tonight uh, approximately two times as well as we've already pre-tied each of the flies once for you so you're getting about six flies a night if you play your cards right um, and so yeah we still have these uh, for sale we still have some more kits and I think Dana actually has something to tell you about these kits well as a matter of fact mr. Bob matters just chimed in and said is there any kicks kits left kits <laughs> kits left the keep the guy brown cow now I forgot yeah, to yeah. do my New York New York New York New York New York so Bob actually there is kits left yeah. um, and we would like to get those kits into your hands because when they sit in my basement they don't get tied and most importantly they don't get enjoyed so yes yeah. there's <laughs> kits but hold tight because it's Christmas mm -hmm. and because I was thinking today that a very good friend of ours, Blake Teague, has been so incredibly gracious for the last couple years since he's yeah. been following along with the show. I know he's probably feeling uncomfortable because I'm talking about him, but <laughs> I want to talk about him. So uh, Blake has shipped up from the eastern United States a whole crap load, not crap, a whole load times two of freaking awesome gifts to give away okay awesome. so some of these gifts which they're not all gonna be given away tonight we're gonna space them through the year mm -hmm. uh, how about uh, Apple AirPods Pro yeah. how about Costa sunglasses how about Moultrie game cameras which actually is going to be one of the gifts we're giving away today. how about knives how about reels how about yeah. fish, finders? fish finders how about bluetooth speakers how about <laughs> can you remember everything? i don't remember everything <laughs> because blake you almost had it. absolutely rock star yeah. so folks so, that so is much, thanks blake. to blake teague he yeah. just absolutely I would safe to say that's about 4,000 Canadian to 5,000 Canadian of gifts that he sent up for us to give away to you guys who tune into the show each and every week. So uh, Eric's already guessing numbers because Eric <laughs> loves to throw the numbers. But every unfortunately, time. 436 is not the not number it. that is winning tonight. Yes. Um, so Blake, we appreciate that. Everybody here is going to appreciate it yeah. because uh, that's super awesome. It's a huge deal. Yeah. Yeah. So generous. And getting back to this comment here <laughs> about the kits from Bob Matters. Okay. So, guys, tonight, because of Blake's generosity, because I felt it's Christmas and we just want to keep on giving, 
And what we want to do for you guys tonight. That's the music stuff. <laughs> I got to, you know what? I got to find. We got to find some ramped up Christmas. Maybe this one here. Ooh, this one looks yeah. like. Yeah, there we go. Now we got some beats, folks, Hip -hop because edition. we got to get you excited. <laughs> so let's do this first. If the first fly we're going to tie is the uh, in the foam, home, home is home, home foam, home, home stone. Yes, it's close. Thread. What should Jim put on? Because he's going to take a good <laughs> yeah, three hours. That's true. Jim, you need to put on something a little heavier. Let's go with, uh, I'm going to tie on a 140 UTC or go with a six odd if you're tying out of the stuff that's coming out of your kit. Um, pick your color, something light, probably white is better than dark today. Yeah. So it's a good mix. Yeah, good for really this like mix. It. Yeah. Hey, you guys can thank me later. Uh, so yeah, get your bobbins threaded because we're going to jump into this tie in about five minutes. But if you do not have a kit, so essentially in your kit, you're getting 20 episodes, probably close to 120 flies. You can join in every Thursday with us. You can watch the replay. You can watch the quick ties. You can do it at your whoa, own whoa, whoa. pace. What did you just say? Quick ties. Oh, yeah, I we'll like talk how you about tried that. to slide that in there. We'll talk about oh, that. Okay, okay. You can do whatever you want, however you want. We will lead the instruction. That is all free. The kits are two hundred and eighty dollars Canadian, which comes to about twelve dollars American. <laughs> On a good day. So yeah, we will ship. We will ship them. We do have some kits left. And because it's Christmas, Tim, I did not ask your permission. That's okay. But Here that's okay days. because if I can figure out this. There it is. Oh, right what's there. that mean? Christmas 25. Well, Tim, I hope you're not going to divorce me. No, never. Because that is 25% off. Woo! A Thursday Night Live kit. So you're getting all of this, which is regular $280 Canadian. About 120 flies retail. Retail, if you had 120 flies, you're looking at five to $700. Plus the instruction, which if you go to a fly shop I know in Calgary, they're charging $20 to just show up and get some instruction. So 20 times four, you're like $1,300. Plus what you're not counting for is time spent with the TNL fam. Yeah. And the people in the comments Priceless. are the best part of this entire show. <laughs> yeah. We just get to dress up and look stupid. So uh, definitely, if you've not gotten your kit. They all keep saying my mic's not on. It's on. Can you hear me? I can hear me through my mic. I can hear you. I'm going to turn while I have to unzip my... Uh... Uh, the mic is not on or needs to be Tim's. It's loud in here. Yes, if you're at Trax Pub, it's probably loud in here. So, uh, I don't know. It gotta, sounds good to me. Got to tell the folks at Trax Pub to just chill. chill. Chill for a little bit, and then you know how that works. So, yeah, yeah. back to this. The code is at the top of the screen. If you head there, I've opened up five. That code works five times. Okay, and it's, and it's tonight either five people pick up a kit for the first time, or the code expires at the end of tonight. So, if you've already gotten a kit and you want to get your buddy a kit because Christmas is cool and it's more cool when you make your buddy's Christmas cool like your cool Christmas is. Oof, that's a lot and of cool. that's super cool. Super cuts a lot of cool right there. It's a lot of bubbly <laughs> I drank today. I'm going to have to go <laughs> for a pee break. There's going to be 10 pee breaks and the sponsors. <laughs> we have sound and video at tracks. Can hear awesome. Tim on the YouTube feed. So Perfect. Perfect. Well, Glenn was going to battle the roads and come up and get his kit. But Glenn decided to stay home, and that's fine too. Yeah, that's okay. Tim, is there a timeline that I have to wear this hat? Um, the hat Just is the, hat. the hat's an all night thing. The hat's all night. The glasses can be negotiated. Okay. Maybe turn them upside down. Maybe it'd be better. I don't know. Maybe see better. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> the code's at the top of the screen. I'm gonna take it off. Christmas 25. You get 25% off a Thursday Night Live kit. That's good for the first five people to use it, and it's only good until tonight. So whichever happens first, Got till midnight, the beer hurry. matches your... Oh, look at this. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Justin Fisher, he's a goddess. Yeah, look at this guy. He planned he's it all out. He's a goddess, Justin. Justin, look at, look, at your, look at your bedroom tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right next to me, man. All right. Hey there, Glenn. We made it. Claude made it, and Glenn didn't. So... Uh, ask Santa for depends. Well, that all depends. Yeah, okay. It all does depend. What's next on my list? We got 25. 
We got this, we got that, and we're gonna get into this fly super quick. Um, is everybody ready yeah, except yeah. for Jim? <laughs> Remember guys, Steve Lyle, who is helping take care of things at Tracks, along with Cody Frankie, who also, Cody's with Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. We have to say thank you to our sponsors because Rocky Mountain Fly Shop if you haven't downloaded your bingo card, you need to download your bingo card to get in on the prizes. But there's so many things to give away tonight oh. that I don't even want to tie flies. No. But you will. We're so. going to have lots of time to do giveaways. So, yeah, let's figure this out. Okay. Yeah. Where's which which mouse, which monitor? One of them. Pick. Pick anyone. <laughs> All right. So it's just me and you, folks. <sighs> Hey, you know what would look really good with this hat? <laughs> I know you know. I know, I know. It's called hair. You guys, you guys, just, you guys just hang on, and it's gonna show up. So, uh, anyways, this is the wrong camera. Okay. Um, it is. It is. <laughs> oh, I thought you were you gonna go. say thanks to our sponsors. Oh yeah, you that's what I was gonna it. do. Hey, up, folks. We, <laughs> <laughs> want to say thanks to all our awesome sponsors yeah. and hold. And hold. time we spend in front of our vices don't you think you deserve a pair of scissors that can make the cut oh, those appreciate it appreciate yeah. our sponsors have you guys True. are you guys hungry is anyone hungry yeah. because before we get into making fish food uh, yeah, let's, yeah. let's 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 try to make the folks at tracks pub a little bit hungry yeah. as we head over to what infamously is known as the baking camp. baking camp tonight folks that is one heck of a mushroom and i know that mr jim crawford <laughs> dropped <laughs> <laughs> this guy's up. <laughs> One heck of a muffin. It's, a, right. it's a mushroom there, Things folks. are getting out of hand I here. Think he's on mushroom. But that's the baking cam. And I hope you guys enjoy that sugar-dusted muffin. <laughs> right. Not a mushroom. Just a muffin. Jim dropped <laughs> off some gingerbreads for the baking oh, cam, but too he? late because I had already baked, already baked that into the program. Oh, I see. Well, that bad. mushroom. <laughs> Okay. Whatever, whatever you ate when you were making that, I don't know. You take care of business, okay, and I will business. go take care of business. We're going to get working on this first fly here, folks. I'm going to show it to you right here. We got the Foam is Home Stone. Super awesome little bug. Going to take you through this sucker. Um, it may look pretty complicated, but I promise you, it is not that bad. So if you're tying out of your kit tonight, head in into there, grab your Season 4, Episode 2. You're going to see that you got two different uh, packages of material in there. Um, these two guys like this, you're going to have one and two. We want the guy with the foam in it. That's the one we're going to start with. <clears throat> As always, when you're taking this stuff apart, just be careful because there is materials that are loose in there. You're best off to kind of pull that staple out first, kind of, and then you won't tear too much of the other material, probably inside. So let's get all that stuff out and kind of sort it a little bit. If you haven't prepped your thread yet, again, like I said, I'm going to be tying on a UTC 140, which is fairly equivalent to a 6 aught um, thread. Something a little lighter in color would be good, being that we're using a uh, we're using foam that's quite light, so we want it to be a little bit lighter in color. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our hook in our vise here. So we got, I believe this is a size 8, I think, 8 or 10. I think it's a, yeah, one or a two, eight or 10. It's not a super big one. Um, <clears throat> it's a little bit smaller stone fly that we're tying tonight, but you definitely can tie this in bigger sizes, okay? We, we can bump this up to even even as big as maybe, I don't know, like a four would be fine. It's big, but we have big stone flies. But this is, we're tying a little bit smaller version tonight. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that thread. So I, like I said before, I'm gonna tie on my, you can see it's kind of a tannish color to match the foam. This is a UTC 140. Oh yeah, Joe Manchinton got himself a kit. Oh, One of the yeah. five. Nice, nice job, Joe. Awesome. And I mean, <clears throat> we talk about a lot. We, we put a lot of work into these kits, guys, but it, it really is um, the, a super convenient thing for you to do. If you can tie out of the packages just like I'm doing, um, not have to go chase down material. Uh, you can go on our website and find the material list if you wish. And actually, right on the bottom of this guy here, if you can see it. Flyfishingboarver.com slash TNLS4. All S4, the material all lists the are on there. They're all on there, so you can go check them out if you, if you already think you got the material. But So we're going to start our thread back. We're going to leave it about halfway down the hook. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and grab, there's some white legs in there. So I want you to fold those over because we want to cut them in half because we're going to use half for the first fly, half for the second fly if you're tying another one. Now <clears throat> this back leg, it definitely can be barred. So if you look at the one that's tied in your package, you'll see it looks like this. Okay, that's our foamless home stone. It's barred. We just did that with a Sharpie. So you can take a Sharpie and you can bar it up if you want. Um, I'm not gonna do that tonight in this tying process, but you're more than welcome to bar it if you want or just tie it in with barred legs if you're tying it home. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead. I, all I did was fold that over. So you can see I folded those legs in half. I'm gonna tie those in right on top of the hook shank. Put a couple extra wraps, make sure it's locked down. Then I'm gonna lift up and pull back. We're gonna stretch those legs right out. All the while, as we take wraps rearward, we want to keep it on top of the hook shank. I'm just going to go back and forth a couple times. Um, the key here is we don't want to push it too far into that hook bend, okay? A little bit on the edge of it, and let her go. And if you did it properly and you held up, those should splay just about perfectly right off the back of the hook. Is there a prescription on these glasses? Because I'm not seeing too straight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, there is no prescription. Okay. The right, the right side isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and cut these so they're at length already. We got them out of the way. So I want to measure these roughly, if I start at the back of the eye to the hook bend, about that distance. So hook shank and length, we're going to come back and cut up. They'll pop back and they'll get, they'll appear a little shorter than they are just because that's what they do as a rubber leg. Okay. So next thing you're going to do is in your kit, you're going to see we have a piece of brown floss. Okay. Now what we're going to do with this, we're actually going to create segmentation in this fly um, over top of the foam. So I'm gonna advance my thread forward just a little bit so I can go ahead and grab that. And I'm gonna keep it on the near side towards me. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kind of pull on it and stretch it. Um, but instead of leaving it on top this time, I wanna leave it on the, on the near side of the fly. So near side being back towards me. If I was referring to far side, I would refer to it as being what's towards you. So keep it towards yourself and take it right back to where we left those other legs. So if you just <coughs> hold right there, and we take note of John Onorati's comment, he says that he's, I believe, 15 minutes for his Uber to pick him up, 35-hour ride, and the price is to be determined. Nice. Well, John, I hope your espresso goodbye. is still working strong. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a drive. There's no doubt. Okay. So we're gonna go in there, guys. We're gonna grab that chunk of foam that we left in there for you, okay? So it's a fairly long piece here, but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna cut it down a bit. So we wanna cut this so it's about, oh, it's a really tough thing to do, but we're gonna be slightly slightly narrower than if we were to do our hook gap, okay? So we don't want it quite as wide as the hook gap, but if I cut it just a little bit narrower than that, I'm gonna cut it with my scissors here. So I'm somewhere in kind of that width. So if I just stick it up in there, it's just, just shy of what that overall hook gap would be. And I don't need a super long strip of it, but I need a decent piece, okay? Ron now, Croteau got himself a kit oh, on the discount. Yeah, nice job, guys. There's only one left. 25% off if you want a kit tonight. Christmas 25 is the code at Thursday Night Live. So flyfishingboarder.com slash Thursday Night Live. Go in there and go get in there, water. get a kit, enter Christmas 25. I think there's one left. Go, go now, go fast. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to my foam here, guys. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a bit of a point into it. Looks something like that. That's just gonna be our tie in. So <clears throat> the key when we're tying this stuff in is I don't wanna leave a big bump in front. So I'm gonna tie it in on the near side again, but I'm gonna tie right back right all the way back if my if my thread so you can see my thread there looks like it doubled up and it's a little wider how we can fix that 
just go ahead and spin your bobbin clockwise. You can see I'll bring it up, spin it clockwise, and I'll watch what that thread does. SOS, hold tight. Cody Frank has called the sauce. Called the sauce? Tell the people what the sauce means. The sauce? What are you talking about? SOS. Oh, the sauce. Okay, so SOS. SOS means at any given time in the show, it doesn't have to just be for tying, but for anything else. If you call SOS, we're going to stop. We're going to pause. We're going to try to answer any question that you have. So if, if you say SOS, Cody, and you just need us to slow down, just let us know that. If it's, hey, you got a question, say SOS, and then give us the question so we can answer right off. Yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. If not, we just take a second, let you catch up, and then we'll keep moving again. So what we can do here while we take a second... Oh, look at that, Doug, over the moon. He wants to buy a kit and donate to a worthy cause. Oh, man, that's awesome. Well, Doug, we've, we've got a segment tied up for you yeah. and your epic hum humanry. Yeah. Humanity. No, humanry. Humanity. Humanity's <laughs> different. The fact that Doug... We stumbled upon Doug a couple years ago. Yeah. Why am I not in this? I don't know. He just thing. wanted to just see me, apparently. Yeah, we stumbled upon him. What, a Boar River Brewing was the first time? Yeah, was it showed other? up. Yeah. And uh, he has blown us away with his consistent generosity. Yeah. Show him a little bit. These are some of the things that we're giving away tonight. I'll just be right back. I got to <laughs> get, get, get it off the tree. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming. Okay, so Doug, Douglas Robson, what she calls himself. There it is. Hand tied by Mr. Doug himself. Incredible fly tire. Cody, you let us know when we're done. Look at that. So Doug goes by Elaine Lee on Facebook. So if you guys are looking for a pretty epic Christmas gift, Doug ties these up. He stuffs them in his balls and he, look at that. That's awesome. Yeah. So is that, what an incredible ornament to stick on your tree. Yeah. So this one here, hand tied by Douglas Robson, ready to use, just release from the ball and tie on your line or leave it as is for the display. This fly name is the Muted Wine. So this is super cool, Doug. Uh, we've got awesome. we got a few of them here. Five or six that we're going to give away tonight. Nice. Um, yeah, that's generosity at its finest. And this is the group. This is the what we call the TNL fam. Yeah. We just get to sit here and kind of be like, make fun of ourselves. But like you guys, the TNL fam is what makes this all worth Every right, single every Thursday, yeah, 1,000%. Oh, 100%. Makes every second worthwhile. <clears throat> super, super generous, Doug. Thank you so much for that. And I know you made one up for Ren, so all I can say is thank you. That's going to mean a ton to her. I can't wait to have her open that one, too. She's going to think that's super awesome. Okay, guys. I saw a question up there. How long is that foam? So right now, I've just got a piece that's about an inch long. What we're gonna do is, is we're actually gonna palmer this up, and palmer just means wrap it up the hook. Um, so I'm just gonna be- Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Did you not turn your phone on? No. <laughs> Who is it? Answer that. it. Answer it. What is this? Who is it? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> yeah. I screwed up. Hello? <laughs> it's gonna just hang up on me for sure. Oh, that would have been Poor. good if it was your STD Poor, checkup. Yeah. <laughs> I am pregnant. The, the, result, the, results, the results are in, Tim. Yeah, don't worry about that growth. It's, yeah, it's that, benign. We can easily just cut it off. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's get on this fly, guys. That's I'm gonna why bring, it's live. I'm gonna bring anything <laughs> can happen. Literally anything. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to tie this foam in. So kind of trying to tie it just from the tip, but you have to get a good grab of that foam because we're going to stretch it out and pull pretty hard on it, and we don't want it to tear. Mr. Okay? Riley's in the house from the west Mr. side, Riley. LA. West side, LA. What's up, Mr. Riley? Mr. O'Reilly. Remember huh? his 80s costume? I'd <laughs> like absolutely oh, so killed it. Oh, oh the rap he sent us? Oh, oh, man. Yeah. We got more up our sleeve, oh, Mr. Man. Riley. Yes, indeed. Okay, guys, so all I did was I just threw in a quick half hitch so that I could set my, uh, as you see, I am tying on a Norvice spa or a Norvice system with a Norvice bobbin. So I've just gone ahead and set my trusty bobbin over on its cradle. So it's out of my way. Now I'm going to take this foam. And when we first start to pull, 
If we didn't tie it in quite right, it's gonna break on us and we're gonna find out if I did this right or not. Um, and then we're gonna palm it forward. So at first we're gonna pull tension on it because we want it to be thin. But as we work our way up, we want to release that tension so that it builds up a little bit bulkier so it looks like it has a nice taper, okay? So first one, I pull pretty hard. And I basically am doing touching wraps, so I'm pulling nice and hard right now. But I'm going to start to relax on that tension as I move forward so it builds up and gets a little bulkier And at the it end. creates the segmentation that is seen in a stonefly. That is seen in a stonefly, that's right. Now I'm gonna wrap that up about two thirds of the way up the hook. So I need to leave about a third of the hook at the front because we got some work to do up there. Take a couple of real good thread wraps so we know that that's secure. We can go ahead and snip that out and you're gonna have a little butt out of that foam. So let's go ahead and wrap that down, squish it in real good. Now this is why we left that floss in there. So now you're gonna see what we can do as far as segmentation is concerned. So we, we created segmentation with the foam but now we're gonna amplify the, the appearance of it. Pull hard on that, so you're pulling it tight. So it just makes it look like a thin piece of thread almost. And we're just gonna start wrapping up the fly. Nice open spiral. And look at that, almost looks like a candy cane. Oh. Now hold on to that nice and tight. Pull your thread back in. Remember when we're, <clears throat> when we're finishing off a material, we're tying it in, we wanna go behind two wraps, in front two wraps, and one more time behind. And now we know that's good and secure. We can go ahead and trim that out. Okay, there we go, we'll set that aside. So now this is what we're left with. We wanna be having about that two third of the hook. Um, oh, this is, I even turned it off, I swear. That's the problem too. <laughs> Jeez Louise. What's okay, more important than being here with us? Absolutely nothing. That's a good point. Okay, so you can see I've got that about two thirds of the way up the hook. Um, now we're going to go to work putting some more materials on there, okay? So you're going to notice in... Tim, um, quick question. Blake wants yeah. to know what is under that. I'll show you. I have lots of under under clothing here. Um, oh, oh, there it is. A little bit of dubbing. There it is, folks. <laughs> it's just a sweater underneath. <laughs> I like to wear sweaters under my sweaters. That's where Patagonia got the name, the better sweater. <laughs> yeah, touche. The scissors, oh, scissors, get there. scissors. Okay, so you're gonna see in there in your kit, if you're pulling this out, we, we're putting in a bit of a wing material. Okay, it's like a shiny coffee filter almost. Um, we're gonna take a piece of this. We want this to be cut about the same width that we did our foam, maybe a smidge wider, okay? So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna cut a strip that's about an inch long. It doesn't need to be an inch long, but we're gonna cut it so we have some area to work with. Pop it off of there. Got this, okay. Tim, I I hope to sweet baby Jesus uh, you put on some resin tonight. Oh, I will. Don't you worry, the resin's coming. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna round off the back of this. So this is gonna imitate a wing case. The back of the wings, okay. Nice and kind of roundish shaped. Now I'm gonna take this <clears throat> and I'm gonna, from the top view you can see here, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna lay it so that it extends just beyond the back of the segmentation. So really, if we didn't go just a little bit beyond, the fish would never see this. Probably never see it anyways, but we like the way it looks, so we're gonna tie it in. Okay, so I'm just putting my finger on top to secure it where it is. Take a couple wraps, pull tight, so that it looks like so. Okay. Uh, Blake's got table. some fantasies about you. Does he? He said he thought you'd be clean shaven. Oh no! Tell us more, Blake. Would you think we would be? On, on I am. A, I'm a hairy dude, Blake. Hairy dude. Maybe he needs to send me up an electric razor, then he can see me bald. <laughs> no promises, though. All right. Uh, don't mind me over here. <laughs> Dana's trying to make some shorts out of his pants because he is boiling. Turns out lots of electronic devices makes it quite warm in this space. So that way, that's what we should be left with, guys. We've got a nice wing casing on top of our foam. We still maintain that we've got about that third of the hook left to work with. Okay. Now what you're going to see in there, you got some of that white hair. Okay, so um, I'm not super worried about stacking this. I actually like that if the tips aren't perfectly aligned because it, it makes a an appearance when we flare it that it just looks a little bit more natural. So I'm just gonna go cut off roughly half of the amount that we've given you there. And I'm just using, this is just a white deer hair, white deer body hair. 
If there's any that are super long, I'll pull them out because this, then they're not affecting. And I'm just gonna go in there and trim, trim and flick out all those under, those under pieces. Make sure they're out. All the while, just maintaining, so I don't lose lose grip on them. And now I want to come in and I want to have those back, those very back tips extend just beyond again that wing. I'm gonna switch hands. This first turn is gonna be a tight one. So I'm gonna go over top and pull tight. Okay, so you see that flare up. Now we're gonna treat this as if we were tying like an elk or caddis. We'll take one more extra wrap to secure and then we're gonna work our, our thread forward and pull it hard each time. But you notice I haven't taken my fingers off yet because I wanna make sure that that doesn't spin on the shank for me. I'm gonna cord up my thread one more time because it started to separate on me. Get that thread through there just so it pops up flares that and now we're going to go in there and we're going to trim all that excess out okay so go in there now that we know for sure that those butts are secured all the way around and then i'm going to take some thread wraps to just quadruple check and make sure that all that is where we want it okay guys that's a good portion of this fly complete already here we are okay so now <clears throat> what we're going to do we're gonna go into kind of the last phase here. We're gonna use a little bit more foam and then we're gonna tie in our legs and we're gonna be done. It's really not over complicated. So I'm gonna go back to my foam here. I am going to, to trim out a piece. This time I'm gonna go hook gap and width. Okay, so hook gap and width. I wanna tie or I wanna trim one that's about, well, about an inch long. And then we'll tie, do another one that's a, roughly about the same as well. Same width, same length. And this is what we're gonna to use to create what we call our bullet head, which is a really cool design of a head on one of these foam flies. And once you learn this technique, you can use, you're gonna see how easy it actually is. And then when you can use it in other patterns as well, where you're like, hey, I want a little bit of extra floatability, or I want a little bit more of a rounded head. This is a great way to create that. So I've gone in, I've got two pieces of it now. Um, so I'm going to come up like so, I'm going to, just like I did last time, I'm just going to trim just the corners off so I have a tie-in point. Now I'm going to advance my thread forward to right behind the eye, okay? I'm going to start by doing this on top. I'm going to come in, wrap my thread, make sure that's good and secured, and then really secure the base, all right? And I want to take some wraps forward. So if I pull that back, I can see how much, how, how far forward my wraps are. I want my wraps to be as far forward as they can up against the eye of that hook. Okay. Cause that's, what's really gonna, um, allow me to pull back and make this bullet head. Okay. So I've got the top in now let's switch over and let's do the bottom. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come in, I'm going to trim just a little bit of a shape on it. And I'm going to tie this in in exactly the same place that I tied the last one. So it helps if you advance that thread right up against the eye. And I'm going to rotate that over. You want to make sure that that stays right on the bottom too. You don't want it to spin to the sides because we're going to draw both of these back and over. And we want to make sure that they are perfectly on top, and perfectly on the bottom. Okay. So when I pull that back, I can see, oh yeah, that's pretty close to the eye, but I can probably get one more wrap forward on that foam. So I try to get one more, squeeze a little bit more out of it. Good. Now I'm going to take this bottom one first and pull it back. And now I'm going to take and just trim it right about where that hook point is, just so I don't have too much material. So it's not in my way when I'm, I'm trying to make my next shapes. Okay. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull this down and I'm going to make a small little bump. This one's just a small one, okay? About that size. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna draw this one back. I'm gonna make the same size bump on the top. Like so, okay? Now I'm gonna pull that forward and work my thread up to just behind the hair. So I kinda gotta move both of those pieces of foam to get my thread so it's snugged right up against that hair again, okay? Now, I'm gonna start on the bottom. I'm gonna fold this down. And this time that bubble should be about twice the size of the last one. Make a nice hard wrap, make sure it doesn't spin. Come behind that other foam. Don't get too caught up in, in that hair either if you can. I got that one secured, okay? Like where that bump is. Now I'm gonna flip it forward. Allow my thread to pass through and I'm gonna make that same bump on the top. 
like so. Take a couple thread wraps. That's my bullet head, okay? Now what I'm gonna do here on top is I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna cut it at an angle, and cut it at an angle again, and what all that's gonna do is basically make an arrow point. And that actually just holds that hair back. And it gives a little extra foam to float. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna trim that right out. Right as close as I can with my uh, trusty shore scissors. No shameless plugs here, but really good scissors. I like using these guys for foam. These are the adjustable tension ones. Uh, Trevor wants to know if that is a foam bulge in your fly or you're just happy to see him. Just happy to see you, buddy. I'm happy he got a kit. That's the bulge in my fly. <laughs> And there we go, guys. That is the foam, foam portion of the work on this fly, okay? So if wow. you look on the underside, we got our segmentation still showing. And you can tell that the amount of foam per weight on this fly is that we have a really good floating fly right now, okay? We really like how that's gonna appear. So last piece of the puzzle. The one, the one thing I will say about this fly is it doesn't have what I'll call orientation as far as like how like, it's going to sit on Yeah, the sometimes yeah, yeah. these rounder flies with these bullet heads, they sit. They kind of want to Yeah, you got to tap them to, to get them. Tap them to get them up. Tap them. Tap them. Okay, so I've got uh, some rubber legs. So I'm, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take and fold them in half and cut them because I'm going to tie one on one each per side. So what I want to do is near the back of it, I'm just going to go in there and just tie a simple overhand knot. So just a granny knot in the leg. I'm going to pull that tight so it looks like so. And you're going to see that that kind of turns and points one direction to the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Did you just say one direction? One direction. One direction. I haven't brought it up you this year. haven't brought it up yet, not once. <laughs> we want that back bump to be near the back of the fly. And I'm going to set it so that leg actually turns in a little bit. Because when I go to tie this in, it's going to actually move it in the opposite direction. So I'm going to pin that there so it doesn't move. Grab a thread wrap, one, two. Make sure it's secured. And then I can work with this a little bit and make it sit where I want it to. And sometimes it takes a couple pulls and uh, it's sitting like that, okay? Cam thinks he might finish the fly. Can you please add some deer hair? <laughs> I'm gonna go over to my other rubber leg. I'm gonna do the exact same thing and I'm gonna repeat the process on the near side of the fly now. Pulled that knot, got the shape I wanted, tipped it back in. You almost want it to look like frog legs when you tie it in. And once I get that tied in, one, two, three. That's what I got, okay? Now basically all we're gonna do is whip finish and trim. So now I'm gonna take a little extra thread here and I'm gonna whip finish this fly. But before I do, I'm gonna cut the front legs so they're not so long and in the way. So I'm gonna take both legs of my fingers and I'm gonna pull them forward. Okay, now I'm gonna, everybody's length is a preference thing. I just cut them, let's say roughly there. I like that. And if you feel like for some reason they're too long and you're out in the field, you can always use your hemostats or something to, to cut them a little shorter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and whip finish this fly. So remember, we're stabbing with our hook whip finisher, allowing it to roll forward, getting our number four, which you can see there. Slide it to the fly, go around once, twice, three times. Slide that sucker in, pull it tight. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of head cement to those wraps so that they don't go anywhere. But I'm first going to trim those back legs. <clears throat> so I want to just leave, I actually like the length of, the, of this leg right here, but I'm going to trim the other one to match it. And length isn't super critical as long as uh, they're similar in length, okay? So I like the way that that looks like that. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my bone dry because I really like using this stuff here. So if you're curious what that looks like, <laughs> oh, solar so, so bone dry. Excited. Well, folks, if we do crash, if the show ends, <laughs> this is why. <laughs> come find us again. All I'm gonna do is put a light dab right on those thread wraps where I whip finished. That's the only place I'm putting it. Hold tight. Hopefully, I you make. Ready? You ready? I make a few people's you ready? day. Let's do it. Bring her out. Show us what oh, you got. Oh, oh, folks. Look at that. We got Rosita back so spotlight. far. Spotlight. She's so in the far. spotlight. She's got... If you don't know, that is Rosita, and I hope that makes a lot of people <laughs> really happy tonight because it makes me happy. She didn't crash the and show. We're still here. We're still live. We're first. still here. You guys are still here. You still hear us, Tracks Bub? Give us, give us a high five, Tracks Bub. 
And there you have it, folks. That is your stone. That's your foam is home stone. Foam is home stone. <laughs> there it is. Add that one to your repertoire. I like it. That's yeah. a little mountain fly I would not leave without. Boom. <sighs> Rusty Pool's back. Rusty Pool's back. Look at I knew it would bring people back to bring joy. Bring people back. To joy. So Jesus remember, back. guys, if you're just tuning in, I know Tim told me that my outfit had to stay all night, but I said, Tim, I'll tell you. I make the rules. <laughs> <laughs> and if I you're wondering, got, those are his pants on his head. That's, that's a good what point. Happened. I got I got one of them cut off. It was super hot in here, so I had to get that. What yeah. size did you tie that on, Tim? I believe that's about an eight. I'd say eight. Yeah, it's an eight. It's yeah. about the size that you put in your fly box and when you see them. Just in case you're wondering what it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. There it is. That is not oh. my leg. That's not my leg. Uh, yep. It's not that's, that's what it is. That's my leg. Okay. Okay. Curious. Curious. But the code at the top, folks, because I believe there's, I think there's still one left. I haven't checked. But if it works, you could go get yourself a kit. Tim, hold up the kits. Yeah. That I can do. This is your kit. This is what you're going to receive. You could get one of these Thursday Night Live Season 4 fly tying kits, which include all the material to tie the flies we just tied tonight. And then we're going to tie another one. We're going to play bingo. We're going to do giveaways. We're going to patch in with our friends at Trax Pub so we can see everybody down there. But most importantly, tonight and only tonight, and for five people that... This code up here, if it still works, is Christmas 25. You could save 25% off a Thursday Night Live fly tying kit because it's Christmas. It is Christmas. Tis the season. We're given. What are you given. doing now? Old Man River Brewing. This is the pale ale. How is it? It's actually really good. It's actually really freaking good. So the Old Man River is one of the rivers that we guide on. And truly, when Tim talks about this fly being a mountain <laughs> fly. I like my can here. So yeah, head to the website at the top. Look at that. Bam! Tim, did you get a new camera? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you know I did get a new camera, Dana? <laughs> How good does that look? Let us know, folks. I mean, come on. The speed, the clarity. Oh, yeah. if, the whoosh, whoosh. If, if Tim looks like a... <laughs> do that thing there. Focus! Oh, focus. <laughs> the camera's going to quit on us I and know. go on strike. So it's awesome. There it is, folks. The thing the, the thing at the top. Which way is it? Okay. So the real Jen Lyle, you, you might not have heard her, him. You know what I don't like? That the camera thinks this microphone is, your face. is a face. And it keeps grabbing it. So I'm just going to just going to pick it up and just maybe do this. Maybe we can become one with the <laughs> microphone. So if people are wondering about the levels of the microphones, look at the shirt Tim got me. It's too short. Well, no, but like, we haven't really seen what's on it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I believe. I believe I can fly. I believe I can Touch the, the unicorn. Touch. <laughs> uh, Two grown men are not going to talk about their unicorns here. So, anyways, this is what I'll do for a bit. Is just hold this microphone here. But yeah, you guys can go get yourself a kit for twenty five percent off. Steve Lyle, Steve Lyle, the real Jen Lyle, the real Jen Lyle, Steve Lyle, who's at Tracks Pub. Tracks, we want to see you guys. Yeah. We want to see all the fun you guys are having. So, Steve, if you're there, call us. Call Give me a shout. We'll patch you in. We'll patch you in. Patch in. But what I need to do first is not worry about the music because the music stopped. That was a good. That was a good playlist. That was a great playlist. I think we need to encourage Dana. He's done a lot better this year at uh, his music. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a true story. Maybe mm -hmm. I falling apart here. Eric, you still need a bingo card? You know where to get it. All right, get your bingo cards. We're going into bingo here, folks. Um, Scotty Van de Pipe and Camp's messaging me from, uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. So, oh, look at who's in the house. Oh, Dario. Dario, what's up, brother? <laughs> what's up? Good to see you, man. If our, if our internet's better this year, that's because we spent time with the network yeah, guru. The network guru. Yeah. Mr. Dario. Okay, so what I want to do, American Friends, this one's for you because everybody's at Tracks Pub. Just hang on. This is Scott from Tracks Pub. 
What is going on? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I need I need Steve to patch us in so we can see all the folks at Tracks Pub tonight. I just sent you a good video. Okay. <laughs> Let me check, but we need uh, we need tell Steve to patch us in. Steve needs to call. Bye. <laughs> Apparently he sent us a good video. Uh, what is the good video? Do a quick. Uh... <laughs> oh, look at that! That's, on the big screen. That's Tim on the big screen. This is what's happening at Tracks Pubs, folks. Tracks, tracks, tracks. Just hang on. There we oh, go. Everybody's yeah. there. Tying away. Is, why is it glitching? I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look screens at that. All at the screens, folks looking at screens. Time flies. Okay, so we got Steve here. Steve's gonna patch us in. Hang on, let me go over here. Let me go. Oh, look at that pretty guy. There we go, folks. This is the real Jen Lyle. The real Jen Lyle. All right, Steve, show us what's happening no. at Trax Pub. All the folks that are live at Trax Pub watching, you're getting feedback on the big screen. Steve, show what's happening. Ah, there we go. What's up, everybody? Come on, tracks, make some noise. Yeah. What's up, guys? Cheers. Oh, yeah, look at those friendly faces. Oh, the real. There he is, Mr. Crawford. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> Everybody's really excited. It's awesome. Oh, yeah, there's Bruce. There's Bruce. Bruce blew a fly. He yeah, said. Bruce is here. Yeah. 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 Hey, Bruce. And Brett. Yeah. Hey, what's Mr. Up? Struthers. Mr. Struthers. Mr. Struthers. Yeah. yeah. What's up, guys? Everyone's here. Justin. Right. Mike. Justin. Yeah. 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 Got Bogues. Cody. Yeah. Cody and Bogues. Yeah. Nice. Here. Yeah. Justin. Nice. Well, folks, we're going to be down there yeah. shortly with you guys, so make sure that's Cole. C behind. Make hey, sure the seat behind check. you, Cody, is warm, or make sure your lap is warm. Either way, <laughs> I'm coming. All right, tracks, check you out guys. That guy. Oh, who's that check guy? out that guy. Oh yeah, I know that guy over there. What's up, brother? That's cool. Spend a All day right. with him. Yeah. Spend a day with him on the Clearwater. All right, guys, we're gonna get back to giving away stuff. Actually, first, Steve. Yeah. Hey guys, just so you know, everybody at Tracks Pub. I've given th I've given three fly Kia tables. Yeah. Three fly Kia tables to Steve Lyle to give away to people at Tracks Pub. Oh yeah. So Steve, the way that you're gonna give them away is to the three loudest people. Okay. Okay, so let's hear. Well, there's two to give away, right? Two to give away. There's three. Okay. You know one. <laughs> All right, Steve, choose wisely. It's on you. I, to, I don't want to choose. Yeah, well, we, yeah, we're not do. there. <laughs> the, the three loudest people. Three. All right. Three. Give them away. We got her. All got right. Her. Awesome. Yeah. All right, You're Steve. Done. Yeah. Congrats, okay. guys. You hand out all those tables, and we'll be over there shortly, guys. Let's get back to tying some flies, playing some bingo. Appreciate you guys, everybody at Tracks Club that turned up tonight. And we'll be over there shortly, guys. Let's get back to tying some flies, playing some bingo. All right. That's pretty awesome. And we want awesome. you guys at your local pub to show up. And we want to patch you guys in like that. So definitely head to your pub. Say, hey, we want to tie flies on Thursday. We want you guys to put it on the big screen because that's pretty cool too. Yep. And then if you're there, you just give us a show. Let us know. Okay. So the next fly that we got to tie, yeah. we're not going to tie it quite yet because we got a lot of stuff to give away. And I don't know how we're going to give it all away in a timely fashion. But what I want to do, because this is what I said before, is American Friends, does any... So bingo card info, flyfishingbowriver.com slash Thursday Night Live. It says right at the top. Just head there. It'll tell you how to get a bingo. If you had a bingo card last week, it works for this week. Okay, it's good for last week, and it's good for this week. Yeah. So, so here we go. That 25% off code is only good for tonight, Christmas 25. Christmas 25. 
Uh, yeah, Cam, great job patched in there. Uh, <laughs> Terry's in Tracks Pub. Okay. What's up, Terry? David Blackman, that is a... He thinks Steve's my <laughs> yeah, doppelganger. Yeah. Well, you guys That's do a look a lot alike. That's a funny That's true. story. Okay, so what we need to do, because I'm back to the American friends, does anybody in here know what a Caesar is? I'm going to give it 13 seconds. If somebody can tell me the difference between a Caesar... Or what is a Caesar? A drink. A Caesar drink. Because Why I got something it? here that hopefully makes all the folks at Tracks Pub get really thirsty. I think I have something here. <laughs> yes. I know okay. you do. I've seen it. Caesar. Do you have a Caesar? Let's watch this little uh, short clip here about the greatest Caesars, what we believe, in the country at Tracks Pub. Oh, yeah. First but not least, roll and slam your lemon onto that cutting board and then begin to slice it into these nice half ovular chunk shapes. Same with the lime. Ooh. Then proceed to centrally rim your flat floored beverage container with some pickle juices before you dip it into this salty circle. Make sure you have a nice modicum of seasoning all over that lemon. Pound some rocks in there. Okay, cardinal rule. Vodka always goes in first. If you even think about putting something in prior to vodka, a bolt of lightning will hit you. Then start dazzling this baby with Worcestershire sauce. Spank in some hot sauce and pepper in a brisk fashion and then place it from one cutting board onto another cutting board, obviously. Now, here comes the premier ingredient, Mott's Clamato. Oh, baby. This drink would likely make Walter Chell feel like he had pugilistic dementia. Pickle, pepperoni, and then without further ado, jam the old meat rod in there. And remember those lemons and limes we carved up? They're on the rim now, too. Ooh, I want to put my mouth on there. Now that you're thirsty, yeah, you're hungry. Now you're hungry too. That, folks, is the baking can. We rolled you right into. Oh, a couple food. Food and drink. Food and drink. So. <laughs> Look at that mushroom. We are. That's a dirty Caesar at Pickle Beaches. Oh, yeah. We got baking cam. We're going to make you guys. We're going to keep your five senses going all night. Yeah. Tim? Apparently it's just my fly. (laughs) (laughs) Put your mouth back there. Oh, I can't do it. Things are going to get bad. Oh, yeah. Anyways. There you are. I brought you back in. Hey, what's up? I thought the renegade pattern was more important than you. (laughs) So, okay, Uh, folks. Yingo. Sponsored by Watermaster. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is because... Doug's gifts of the flies are fragile and difficult to ship. Tracks Pub, okay, you guys are getting more giveaways. We're coming over there after to give those away, just yeah. like Steve gave away those fly Kia tables, okay? So that's how you're going to win those. What else oh, do yeah. we got? Oh, we got some stuff. Let me get it. Start All right, here, get out your here, bingo here, cards. Here, 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 here. We actually got a lot to give away tonight. All right, let's start off with this. I gotta figure out what this is. Whoa, careful. Oh. Turn it over. Whoa, careful. Whoa, careful. Jeez, where's the opening here? Whoa, jeez, there it goes. <laughs> what I on earth you. is in here? I told you to be careful. A lot of stuff. Oh, a lot of stuff. So we got some tippet, we got leaders, we got nippers, we've got forceps, we got little, what, who, this is crazy. Yeah, I did that. There's literally boxes of flies in here. It's Christmas, man. We're just giving away stuff. This. It's freaking Christmas. This box is full of flies. Oh man, this is the only one that matters because there's a San Juan worm in it. Yeah. Right there. Oh yeah. And more flies, more dry flies so in here. So many things. We got floating in here. The bingo link, kit. just hang on, the bingo link is flyfishingbowriver.com backslash Thursday Night Live. That's where you will always forever get your bingo cards. Well, that's Hurry, a good giveaway right there. Hurry, because we're getting going. We're going to play two games of bingo tonight, okay? They're both going to be under different cards. This okay. is going in game one. Game one. 
Okay, let's see what else we got here. We got a... Do two more items there. This is from Blake Teague. This is a legit full-on Leatherman. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, absolutely phenomenal. Blake. Awesome. We've got, again from Blake, we have this trail camera. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet giveaway. I want that. I know. Awesome. I, I was going to download a bingo card tonight. <laughs> I thought about Guys, it. Guys, this, this is what happens here is... The more people who view the show, the more opportunities we have at getting more stuff to give away. So, hey, call your grandma, call your uncle, call your brother, call your buddy. If each and every single one, there's 120 people in here right now. If each and every single one of you guys go invite two or three friends, we're going to have so many giveaways that we're oh, not going to tie crazy. flies. We're just going to show up and give away. Okay, last one in this pack here we got, guys. This is the kit from Shore. So in here, we've got a whole assortment of everything from biots to hooks to, we got some, some duck butthole. We got some uh, thread and tinsel, tons of stuff. Great little pack, there's clink hammer hooks in there. I think the point is to tie some clinks out of that. Yeah. Those are the three we got right here. Okay, so just to reiterate, we got the Leatherman. No, there's four things. Leatherman. There's the tree cam. There's this. There's the full kit. Of stuff. There's the kit full of fly fishing stuff. We got the trail tree, cam. Yeah. Okay. And we got the shore stuff. So many things. This is number one bingo card, okay, folks? So what this one is... Okay, so we're going to call this one. And what we do right away is we get the first four calls out of the way. So we're going to do four corners. Four corners. Four corners. Yeah. Four corners. There can be ties. We have a tiebreaker in here. Yeah. Four corners. There's no other way to win other than four corners, guys. So make sure that you have four corners. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Okay. There was a little confusion last week, guys. Yep. Somebody called in first and said they had bingo. It doesn't matter who calls in first. Five people could call bingo. If they all had bingo on the same exact word, it's a tiebreaker. Okay, so... We will know that we have a way of testing the program to know who came in first. All right, let's do it. Streamer, Formulator, Nymph, and Roughwater Caddis. So there's four here, folks. Four corners. Sean, in Grand Prairie, you guys might have five corners. <laughs> Called Circle. Same cards as last week. They work for episode one, episode two. Yep gonna need new ones after the new year but for now folks let's give you guys some stuff let's give the people what they want thanks to shore fishing blake teague and our friends at dana lottery, <laughs> dana uh -huh. lottery. that was me and tim gave that one okay um okay we're gonna call, call one more. more stone flopper Ooh, stone flopper Stone Flopper is on the screen, folks. Got one. Okay, you should do four center. I'd be one off. Well, we could. Four corners. Four corners. Four corners, Let's guys. Let's do four corners, it. folks. What's the next one? The next call is the S2. 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 Do you think I wear the wig all year, or is or we're going to get rid of it at one point? I feel like we don't get rid of it. Wait. Caitlin. You get four corners. Bingo. Oh, Kaylin, Kaylin. Four corners. Kaylin with bingo. Give us uh, the Kaylin. number that's on your card, Kaylin, so we can punch it in and make sure that you are indeed yep. bingo. Kaylin. Go ahead and drop that number in the comments. It should be on the top of your card. That's awesome if it is. Kaylin over on YouTube. Kaylin. She did. Okay, Kaylin, give us that number, though. 119. 119. She said she did. Maybe we didn't see it. We make mistakes. All right, let's check it out. Side, folks. Oh, that is awesome. That's four corners. There it is. Four and corners. she had a bottom line. She won so Boom. many. That's, That's so awesome. good. Good job. Congratulations, Kaylin. Good you job. got some awesome stuff here. Yes. Killer stuff. Kaylin, well, you're going to have to join us on a mountain hike to pick up your stuff. Or we'll just, <laughs> yeah. just drop it off at your house again. That works too. Either way, you're going to get your stuff. That's a pretty awesome gift. Congratulations. Thanks, that is awesome. Blake. Thanks, Shore Fishing. Yeah. And thanks to the guys thanks, at thanks, Dana. Fly Fishing Boat for Outfitters. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
right, that was awesome. Okay, next bingo. Okay, we're gonna do a whole new call. A whole new call. Starting the game. Yeah. So what we've been made aware of because um, we fixed it. <laughs> because because I thought it. this keyboard was on this one and now we're here. But uh, what I, I wanted to be is on the screen more. Yeah, and it's fine. I, so are... apparently for Janine, who came and notified us, <laughs> She didn't want me on the screen more. Uh, Maybe it was showing off my thigh. If you haven't learned this yet, Dana is an attention seeker. <laughs> I mean, Absolutely. I mean, look at him. <laughs> I mean, clearly. <laughs> Have you seen that thigh? Because I can't stop staring at it. <laughs> no, it's staring at you. <laughs> it is. Okay, Tim, you can oh, call man. those off if you could see them. All right. This is the next sequence, and we got to take these off the screen. What are they winning, though? we got to talk about that. Yeah. Well, let's get the first four out of the way. <laughs> All right, let's get those guys out of there, and we will call the first four. All right, so check it out. Are we what doing are we... four corners again? Four corners. Four corners Four again. corners. Winner, winner. Okay. Reset the card. Reset your card, guys. Here we go. Are we going this and this? What are we doing here? This is the last one. So what we're doing here is we're giving away... Giving away this, which is the all the recipes, all, all the, the recipes of all the flies that we are tying throughout season four, all the photos of the flies. Okay, so this one is called two books, a kit, and a rod. Two <laughs> two books, two kits. Two books, two kits. Two books, two kits. Okay, so all the photos of the flies that we'll be tying throughout season four are in here, and their recipes. That's okay, awesome. so you're going to be getting one of these. Okay, we only have a few of these left, so this will be going, yeah, like the, the barcode. <laughs> nice barcode title. Here's, here's probably one of the coolest things. Okay, if you guys, if you don't win this tonight, I highly suggest that you go pick up one of these books. So, Andy Wiener right there, send him a message on Instagram and say, hey, or Andrew, Andy, he goes by Andy. So say, uh, we saw, where is it? That, right there. We saw this book on Thursday Night Live and we want to know where to pick it up. Because this book for your kids is absolutely super fun. Look at this. It is awesome. Ren has loved this book since the second we got it. Yeah. Read it so I days. highly suggest if you have kids uh, for Christmas, this book, Down by the River, is absolutely outstanding. And... Uh, Andy's given this to us. It's a cool story about fly fishing. Andy's given this to us to give away to you guys. Nice. Okay, so super cool story. It's got these awesome graphics of flies. This book is number two. So two books, and then Tim will talk about the two kits that oh, we're giving away in the second bingo. Oh, man. This kit, what you have here is a fly rod and reel combo. I just take a look at this. We got a $300 value on this sucker. This is a TFO 8 foot 6 4 weight, and this is the NXT 4.5. And that's from oh, our friends at Rocky Mountain Rocky Fly, Shop. Fly Shop. Can flip it over and show you what that is there. That's what it is. That is kit number one, and what is kit number two? Well, Tim, that is a season four. Wah! Oh, you love the book. I love it. It's so good. It's just like, wah, wah, wah. Okay, guys. That, that is an unbelievable giveaway. Season 4 kit on top of a $300 rod and a couple awesome books. So that's like $700 value. So we've, we're giving away a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff. We gave away three of those tables. $200 for each table. That's $600. We gave away seven foot. That's, I can't even count anymore because I just hit $3,000. Because it's Christmas. And that's it's what we do here, folks. Away. It's Christmas. The reason for the season is to just give and make other people happy because you guys continue to bless us with fantastic messages showing up for us every single night so that we don't have to hang out alone. It means the world to us, and so we're happy to give it back absolutely in an episode like this and there's giveaways every episode but today there's just a lot because well it's christmas. it's christmas and then everybody attracts pubs why do i pluralize it I don't know. Attracts, attracts pubs. pubs you guys are getting these uh 
these fly Christmas tree ornaments because we're bringing them over and we want to hand deliver them to people there at Tracks Pub. Yeah. Okay, Tim, I've called four. Four right. corners. Reset your card. This is a brand new game. Four corners. Four corners. Here we go. Our first four calls are going to be drum roll. You call. <laughs> Stone flopper. Stone flopper is number one. We got rough water caddis is number two. And remember, folks, Watermaster Rafts is the one who sponsored Flying Go. So hey, go check them out. Big Sky Inflatables on the internet. Uh, Watermaster Rafts, truly, absolutely. Like it says at the bottom, except no imitations. There really is one. There's a lot of imitations, but I'm telling you what, this thing is built bomb proof. And yeah. at, the, at, the end of, at the end of the day, what do you want? You want to be able to get home. You don't want to be stuck somewhere on the side of a river because no your raft failed you. Not a chance. Okay, Stone Flopper, Rough Water Caddis, Grizzly Raft is number three. And number four is Foamulator, which we'll be tying later this season. Yeah, four, four corners calls. again. It is four, four corners, corners again. And yep. the book... The book is called Down by the River. Send us a message after if you didn't catch that, but it's four corners. I think this outfit's better. I agree to disagree. Urban, you just looked at my thigh again. (laughs) I can't. No, it looked at me. (laughs) Well, it hasn't stopped. Uh, Maybe it's been eating mushrooms too. Okay, the next call is... Next call. Next call is the Pearl Zonker. Pearl Zonker. Wait. Kill me, David. David, you (laughs) want to win this. Come on, baby. Mr. Quintana from... Montana. He's in the house. What is up, brother? Hope you're doing well. Four corners, guys. Four corners. Let's see what's next. S2. Down by the river in a van. That was one of the best skits ever. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh yes. S two, they're all up there, folks. We're looking for four corners. If in a, if you if your card is a square, then four corners is what you're looking for. If you're from Grand Prairie and you have five corners, you just well, gotta you look for them. the wizard on the wall. <laughs> Ooh, getting closer for Scott. What's next? Oh yeah, Sparkle Minnow. Sparkle Minnow. Go Grizz. Go Grizz. I believe he's talking about Montana. (laughs) Oh, man. Well, David, you're going to need the corners. You are (laughs) going to need the corners. Folks, we still got a fly to tie after this. Yeah. We still have some wins to chat about. Okay, Wyatt got 126. Bingo, bingo, Scott. We got a tie. All right. Oh, Wyatt got it too. Bingo, 126, and then Scott got it as well at 023. So let's see if those two are on the same call. 126 is correct. Wyatt, 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 Wyatt. Wyatt. Let's see about 023. So he had it at Sparkle Minnow. Okay. So 023, you said? Yep. Same thing, Sparkle All Minnow. Right, so we got, sparkle uh, Minnow. So we got a tie. Tiebreaker. So what we do is we hit up. What were the two numbers again? Zero, two, three, and you'll have to screw up a bit. I can't see the other one. We got zero, two, one, three, two, six. and one, two, six. Okay, Wyatt, Scott, I'm about to hit the button here. Let's see who it is. Zero two three. Zero two three. Scott, Scott Lorenz. <laughs> I'm sorry, Laura. <laughs> I'm sorry, Laura. I took her and Wyatt. Oh. Wyatt's kid. Hey, here's what we're gonna do. We have another Down by the River book that we yeah. want to give away tonight. So Laura, hit me up. Wyatt's gonna get himself Down by the River book for being runner up. But yeah. yes, O two three is the winner. And that goes to Scott Lorenz. So, hey, Scotty, you're the winner. Scott. That's awesome. You've got some pretty awesome stuff. So how do you claim your prizes? You email me at tnl at flyfishingbowriver.com. Tell me you won. I'll know you won. But just say, hey, send me your address, your phone number, 
whatever. And I'll get that stuff shipped out here hopefully before Christmas. So that's how Bingo works. It's totally free to play. You don't even need a kit. Nope. You just need to show up, get yourself a bingo card, download it, put it out. We play bingo every single episode. Watermaster is the sponsor of this bingo. If you haven't checked out their rafts, I, I highly encourage you to do that. And we're going to tie one more fly here. We're like way ahead of time. It's 817. Oh, yeah. And this fly good. is a super quick tie. So hold tight with us, folks, because... Without much further ado, the bingo is over and the commercials, and we want to say thanks to our sponsors. Give us one minute, we'll be right back. time we spend in front of our vices don't you think you deserve a pair of scissors that can make the cut oh, Tim's in a potty break, which much needed because I took a few. Well, Tim was tying flies with you guys. So to everybody down at Trax Pub, we hope you guys are having a super awesome time. We can't wait to join you guys in about 35 minutes time. When Tim gets back, we're going to be tying the renegade pattern. Also, I talked to Tim right before he went to take a piddle and I said, hey, Tim, because it was so close and it was a tiebreaker and it's all about Christmas and it's all about giving, we want to add to Wyatt's gift of the book. We want to add to him. A kit, a season four kit. So, oh, yeah. So, yeah, we might as well. We might as well. Sounds like a great idea. So, there it is. That is Laura. Awesome. We're going to add that to the kit. So Merry Christmas, Wyatt. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody who won the gifts, everybody at Trax Pub who got themselves the Fly Kia table. Also, the Douglas Robson prizes that we're going to be bringing down to Trax Pub with us as soon as Tim finishes tying this pattern. Folks, it's Christmas. Go outside. Make some. Don't go outside. It's freezing cold. <laughs> it's too cold. <laughs> don't do it. I will not wear these. Do I have to wear these to Trax? No, because then I'd have to wear this. <laughs> <laughs> we will dress appropriately will dress for appropriately. the weather. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, guys, um, what this is all about at Thursday Night Live, quite simply, we tie flies to kind of kill time and give us a purpose to be here in a way. But the way, the reason is really, is truly just the group of people that come together every single week that just continue, continually... I better stop drinking <laughs> No, or I'm out. faster. You didn't grab us more out there? It's right here. Right okay. here. I know, but there's the real stuff that oh, our friend well, brought sorry. us. Um, it's just truly about the generosity that is, yeah. it's contagious. And when people give, more people give and more people give. So, and giving is all in perspective to what you can give. Sometimes it's your time. Sometimes it's a little bit of money. But at the end of the day, just do something this Christmas to make somebody smile because I know you guys have already made us smile yeah. just by being with us here the last couple, three episodes in Tracks Pub. We can't wait to come down and hang out with you guys and see you guys in person. If you want to host a Thursday Night Live party in your location, reach out to us. We would love for you guys to do that because that is what it's about. It's the community, the people. Tim, 100%. let's tie some flies. Could not agree more. All right, guys, we got one more fly to go tonight. This one is a little bit of a bias favorite for me is it's called Renegade. And as my daughter's name is Ren and I call her Renegade all the time, it's yeah, a absolutely. happy coincidence. So if you open up the other package that you had in there, you're gonna see you got a couple of, there's not very many materials in here, so be careful because these hooks are very small as well. Uh, these are size 18 hooks. So they are teensy, teensy, teensy. You've got a white hackle, you've got a little bit of peacock hurl, and you've got a couple of real small hooks. 
Now, if you're curious as to what this Renegade is going to look like, I'll slide one in here just so you can see it. Okay. So this isn't a tractor pattern. This is meant to look <clears throat> like absolutely nothing and also everything. So it's meant to give you, it could look like a, a beetle, it could look like an ant, it could look like a, maybe a Griffith gnat. You don't, who knows? It could a be cluster of midges. Cluster Some of people midges. fish it weighted. They fish it underneath yeah. an indicator. Fish this thing every single day of the year. Do it. Except for today, because you know, there's no open <laughs> you, water. Yeah. <laughs> but most days, you're right. Okay. So this is a tiny hook, guys. It looks really big on camera, but it is not very big. So the thread that I'm going to use for this fly tonight, um, I'm stepping over to a personal favorite of mine. Um, if you're using the stuff that we gave you out of your kit, go as small as you can. So the larger the number, the smaller it is. So go down to that A dot. Um, I'm going to be using what's called uh, nano thread. So I'm using my nano tonight, which is extremely strong. Almost, it, well, not almost. It is as strong as GSP. Let's say GSP 200. Um, only difference is it's extremely small in diameter. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my thread about mid, just behind the eye of the hook, and I'm gonna start making thread wraps back. Okay, get rid of that tag. So this is small, but it is it is really good to practice with these smaller hook sizes on these types of flies because the the techniques themselves are not very complicated, um, although you're doing them at a much smaller size, okay? Um, so <clears throat> the original pattern actually puts a little bit of tinsel at the back, which is something you can do. We're not gonna do it tonight. I don't think it's it's the necessary step. Um, some people also will put like some pink or orange thread at the back, just as a bit of a hot spot. but I think this pattern speaks for itself and how it actually comes out, and that is not something that is needed. Um, first thing we're gonna do though, as far as material that we're gonna tie in, is we're gonna tie in that brown hackle that we have. So working with hackle can always be a little bit of a challenge because it, you gotta orientate it right, you gotta put it in the way you want it to. Um, I'm good, I got one here still. Um, but what we wanna do is, you wanna try to find the dull colored side, which is the underside, and the top side is a bit more of a shiny side. So I can tell that what I'm showing you at the back of the camera is the dull side. It's also a little bit concave. Um, so I know that's the back. But when I try this in, to start with, I'm gonna strip off some, some of those fibers off the stem. So I've, I've stripped them down fairly even. And then I'm gonna take a couple more pieces off the bottom because I'm gonna wrap in the direction like this first. And that's gonna take and wrap a bit of the stem um, and then that by eliminating those fibers in the bottom, it actually just doesn't trap anything. It allows that first bend to start rotating and pumping up those fibers quite nicely. Okay, so keeping in that orientation with the underside of underside of it pointed rearward, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna really tie this down well, okay? Tie that stem in, wrap all the way down, wrap back. It's, not, it's okay if we put some extra thread wraps in this. We're not worried about bulk in this fly. Just really want that secure before I start, okay? I'm gonna take a quick half hitch here. Just let it held in place and get my thread out of the way. And now I'm gonna start my wrapping, okay? So like I said, I left some empty on this bottom, so that's the direction I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna come up and over. Now I haven't trapped any. We're probably gonna do about four or five turns here. Two, nice touching wraps, three, four. I like the look of that. We don't want it to be too much, but we do want it to be enough. And sometimes that's just a little bit of feel and and uh, tying. This isn't the first time I've tied this fly in the last couple of days. In fact, it's probably about the 50th. So you get really comfortable with what you're looking at and how much you want. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trim that stem out now that I've got that secured in there using that same technique we always do. I'm gonna try to pull those little bit of fibers that are sticking forward Did back. you talk about the optional? Yeah, I did, okay. yep. Okay, so we've got that hackle wrap there. I am gonna go in and trim out a couple of those guys that just don't wanna go back. Okay, and now the next thing we're gonna do is we only have three materials to work with tonight. We're gonna uh, head on over to our peacock curl next, okay? Now, instead of, we normally pull off the tip of the peacock curl because it's super fragile and then we tie in from there, but we're actually gonna tie in from the back this time. Um, and now the same thing that we did with the, the hackle feather, I actually want you to try to find the dull side. So what I'm showing you right now is the shiny side and that's the dull side. I want the dull side to be pointed to me. Um, and what that's gonna do is when I tie it in from this side first, 
it makes the arranging of how we polymer this forward, it, it, it creates the spacing properly and it allows it to not get trapped on itself if I have that back towards me first. So you're gonna see that this polymer is real nice. You're gonna see it open up and look nice and full because each turn has all these little fibers that are gonna stick up just like a hackle feather. It's just a lot more micro situation. Okay, so I'm gonna do about five turns of that and then I'm gonna come in and tie that off. Okay, tie off. So that again, that's my behind and my in front. A couple behind, a couple in front. Go in, trim that stem out. So that's what I'm left with so far. Okay, now the last material we're gonna tie in is we have your white feather, okay? White hackle feather. Now you wanna be as appropriate as possible. You're trying to, to do this with uh, hackle feathers that are very close in size. So if I'm tying on a size 18 hook, I want my, my hackle feather to be a size 18 appropriate. And there's, there's hackle, hackle gauges that can do that for you. Um, so I got my white feather here. I'm gonna do the exact same thing to prep it that I did before. I'm gonna come in here and grab a few fibers off. I'm gonna grab a few more off that bottom, like so. And now I'm gonna, same as before, keep the underside or the dull side facing towards the rear of the fly. I'm gonna tie this in, really get that secured because I don't have a lot of extra space to work with here. Go on the other side of that stem. You can see that stem sticking up still. I'm gonna go in there and trim that off. Okay. And now I'm really important to put a half hitch in here to save your work, because that's all a half hitch really is, guys. It's just a save button, okay? I'm gonna take my thread and I'm gonna get it out of the way. And now I'm gonna palmer the same way that I did the last one. I'm gonna start palmering this guy. And we're gonna do the same amount of turns. We're gonna do roughly three or four, possibly five. Basically, once we feel like it's even amount as to the back, that we did on the back hackle, then we're gonna bring our thread back to us. We're gonna go on one side, and then on the other, okay? And I'm gonna go once more to the back side just to make sure it's locked in. I'm gonna go ahead and trim it out. Now all I've got left to do here, guys, I'm gonna whip, or sorry, I'm gonna <coughs> use a half, a half, blah, 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 half hi, hitch tool. Hi, name's so, <laughs> I'm gonna use a half half. This is a half hitch tool, guys. It's a super simple device. It has a hole in one end. Um, but what I like about this, you can tell some of those feathers, uh, that the fibers on the feather are pointing forward. Well, watch what happens when I take this. It's funny I'm gonna lay it on like, the thread. Big that looks, but it's not big. It's tiny. I'm gonna go around the shaft of this tool once, twice. I'm gonna put the hook, or sorry, the point of the hook inside that little hole. And you can see I'm pushing those fibers back now so that they're not gonna get trapped. And then I pull my knot down. It likes to push them back so they're out of the way. There we go, like that. Now all those fibers that were pointed forward have been pushed back by that thread. I'm gonna come in here, get that out of the way. Being that I did a double half hitch, I'm not gonna put any resin on this. You can if you like, but I feel very confident that that's not gonna move. And that is the Renegade Fly. Well, I can't say a lot about Are it. Are you sure you're not gonna pretend to put resin on? Just even hit it with the uh, resin. Okay. I'll just grab the resin light. <laughs> For the folks at home and the there folks in the back. Folks, that's Rosina. She came alive in season two when COVID was real, <laughs> real strong. And she's made a comeback. <laughs> so good for her. Good for her. Oh, man. That's for Rosina and for Timothy Hepworth. There it is. All right, guys. What a simple tie. Simple but effective. The idea of putting a little gold spot red spot hot spot on the butt also works but yeah. hey essentially that is what you need right there if that doesn't catch fish i don't know what will i do that's actually not true but hey so if you guys needed the material list you can head yes. over did you show the picture i will show this one as well that is the renegade pattern your website is right there. Let me get that to focus. You got www.flyfishingbowriver.com yeah. slash TNLS4. So it's we important. always put the recipes up there for everybody to see if you did not get a kit, you can get all the recipes. Also, if you head over to rockymountainflyshop.net, they have all of the materials that you'll need for this fly. 
on their website, click on the Thursday Night Live tab. So if you loved what you did tonight, head over there. You can just buy it in bulk and you can, or bulk's a bad term. You can just buy it like normal people do. Yeah. And they have to buy all this material so they can tie a whole bunch of them. But if you loved it, because both of these ties are super effective flies, we can almost call them guide flies. Yeah, honestly, you could. And they yeah. work and they're easy to tie. So, well, Cam was having a conniption fit because he wasn't able to comment. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. Well, here's what we do. Here's what we do when people buy kits. We've... We invest in the show. So we try to do things to make things better for you guys. We try to make things better so that uh, our sponsors love being here. And uh, if Rich from Watermasters in the house, I think he's kind of like window shopping right now. But we're super pumped to have Rich on board this year with Watermaster. 100%. We're also pumped to have another sponsor on board, but they haven't really shown up yet. So... Um, when those things get finalized, there'll be a lot more stuff coming your guys' way because that's what they want to do. They just want to keep giving to you guys. Yeah. Giving back. Giving back. So if you have not bought a, th a Thursday Night Live Season 4 kit, if you didn't win one tonight because we did give away two of those. Yeah. Good night, Roger. You're taking off, buddy. Have a good week. All right, Roger. Merry Christmas. Yes. It's been a long day, but hopefully tonight brought you a little bit of uh, solstice. Yeah. We appreciate you tuning in every week because uh, that's freaking awesome. Roger's won, almost won last week, bingo, but he didn't. Oh, the, the psych. Yeah. So, Got psyched. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, folks, that's kind of what we do here. We, we, uh, wait. We've done everything we need to do. Like show everybody the big camp. This, folks, is a strawberry-filled mushroom. Mushroom. <laughs> and if you missed it at the start of the show, that's the baking camp. So we try to bring that to you guys because when you have a few beers, maybe you want to head upstairs, reach into the pantry, and grab yourself some All baking. the ingredients. <laughs> and get to work. So without much further ado, I have a scene I created here and I want to know if it works. Oh. So, show. hold tight, hold tight. <sighs> you get that hair out of your eyes. I'm going to have to uh, have a conversation with this microphone. I know, it's just weird, eh? I just loves to steal. Who knew <laughs> Santa was so I handsome? loves to steal. So a birthday cake would be amazing, but that's a birthday cupcake for our friend Ryan Storch, Ryan Storch. who just in case everybody here, I heard today was your birthday. it's Mr. Ryan Storch's birthday. We sang him happy birthday at the start of the day, but hey, you can't sing somebody too many happy birthdays during nope. their special day. Not a chance. Ryan, happy, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Hey, hey, Cheers. Happy birthday. And if you guys Mr. are Storch. looking for uh, flies, if you want to buy flies, Ryan Storch ties some really cool flies. So check him out on Facebook, Rise Flies, or Rise flies. wherever else uh, the social media is. <laughs> he doesn't him. agree. He thinks you can sing it too many times. Yeah, well, I'll punch him right in the baby maker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a threat. That's a threat. Looking right there. to replace my pontoon. Well, check out the Watermaster. Absolutely. Check out the oh, Watermaster, yeah. but hold tight. Because maybe one episode, there's a little bit of a discount from our friends at Watermaster. That would be pretty awesome as uh, well. Fun. Really fun. So nobody's going to sponsor this show that we don't love what they do what they're no. about their products their beer this beer is just given to us from a good friend named justin fisher all right tracks pub are you guys ready for us uh maybe we it's patch the them in one more time steve if you're there call me on the show we're going to give you 13 seconds to patch <laughs> us in and because we're going to try this see that folks we're here for the comments here for the comments so because some people don't believe all the comments that come in Feel free to hit your comments up. 
look at that. And they're going to show up in the feed. So you can see your friends on YouTube. You can see your friends on Facebook. The Facebook. On the interweb. We'll just take 13 seconds and see if Tracks Pub is going to patch us in. Counting down. 13 seconds. And 12. 11. And 10. And 9. Seven. Six. Nope, it's still seven. <laughs> and four. And oh, three. he's running out of time. And two. Well, folks, this one here is called the here for comment section. Yeah. And sometimes I come in all sultry. Sultry. But I'm here for the comments. the comments. Testing, testing. See? They want to see what shows up in the comments. 541, we talk a lot. Didn't tie one tonight. I was <laughs> putting the little one to bed. Darren. That's all good, man. Art Corey, Merry Christmas. I want to say Merry Christmas. We're going to get into the wins. If yeah. you haven't been here for the wins, I highly encourage you, do not leave. we got 10 minutes left. John just gave away a secret. I want to kill him. <laughs> John, remove your comment. If there's a way to John, edit or delete. John, is now. that espresso Abort. not worn off? Abort. Abort. Absolutely. Big thanks to Cody and Lauren for setting everything up. Big thanks to Steve and Lyle, yeah. who also went down there and took care. And if you guys at Tracks Pub got your free kit, because we go we donated some kits there tonight. Uh, big shout out to Scotty, who uh, runs Tracks Pub. A big shout out to all the hardworking people who are slinging drinks, making food for you guys. And I hopefully also want to note that Bruce Cole was going to come up tonight, but he couldn't. So he donated a hundred dollars oh, to the yeah. tracks pub tab oh, that's and awesome. Chaz couldn't show up tonight. Oh, look at this. We give him 13 seconds and he shows up. Oh, it just shows up. Okay, folks, your comments are going to be deleted here. <laughs> we're getting into this. Oh, there All right. <laughs> What do you got ordered for me, buddy? <laughs> All right. So our friends at Tracks Pubs, right before we get into the what are your wins. He's frozen and eating seconds. Hey, what's up? Our friends at Tracks Pubs, right before we get into the what are your wins. That's called feedback. Yeah, that's interesting. Show, yeah, we, we don't want to, nobody wants to see you. They want to see everybody at Tracks Pub. <laughs> oh, just allow me to do some more favors for you. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> Please and thank you. Yes. Trying to get a trying to get a favor out of Steve is is tough, guys. If Jim F Crawford tells me what to do one more time, <laughs> we can't hear him. Oh, yeah. Put your hearing aids in, Jim. <laughs> okay, guys, we're coming down there in ten minutes. We appreciate everybody yeah, at Tracks thanks. Pub. Thanks for showing up, guys. Oh, we'll see you there. Soon. Hey, what's up, guys? All the way from America. American. All the way from America. I love it. Yeah. See you soon, boys. All Good right. Ladies. Brent, what's up? Cheers. Oh, Cheers, guys. All the way from America. <laughs> Justin oh, Fisher. Delay. Yeah. Okay, okay right. so Brent, without much further ado, tracks, we got to get into some wins. All right, let's do it. We got to say goodbye to Steve and the friends, and you're just a fly again. <laughs> <sighs> oh, hello, Tim. Tim. <laughs> Tim. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Make it serious. What, oh, what well, serious? this is, uh, what's your win? What is your win? Well, I'll this tell you is what, just I'll uh, tell you what my win is. It's not how I'm holding this microphone. No. My tell, win. Tell me. My win is twofold. So Saturday, Sunday, I went out west with a friend, Aaron Nobland, who usually tunes in. And he's not tuning in tonight because he's got to work, which is why he's not at Tracks Pub. Mm. But ultimately... That's my win, is that Aaron invited me. So the winter times for me can be very depressing. Uh, Thursday Night Live has really helped me out of that uh, drab of winter and the dark and the cold that's outside. And I don't have a sport to do in the winter. I used to coach hockey. I used to play professional hockey. So I used to be super busy during the winter. And in the past couple, three years since I quit coaching, I realized that the winter is sucks. It really sucks for me. Also, what I realized is that I didn't have things to challenge me mentally and physically like I used to have. And so I thought, hey, why don't I try doing some mountaineering, uh, climbing some small hills slash mountains. And we do live in Alberta. We do. So yeah, anyways, I've been talking about it for a couple of years. And this year I said to myself, I'm gonna do it. So on Sunday, 
we went out, friend Aaron took me up, him and a couple friends, and we, uh, we got to the top of the mountain. And I'm telling you what, there's times I wanted to puke. <laughs> and uh, I said to myself, why, self, are you doing this? Because this sucks. But then I realized why I'm there is because I want to push myself to the brink, to the point where I don't want to be there and I hate it and I want to puke. But when you get to the top, why'd you take your hat off? <laughs> when you get to the top, it is seriously the coolest freaking thing in the absolute planet. Yeah. So that's my win for the week and I'm still riding the high from, from last Sunday. Tim? No, that's awesome, man. Oh man, my win for the week. <clears throat> well, um, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually headed south this next weekend to grab a new puppy for our family. And I was sitting here crapping my pants yesterday listening to announcements and trying to judge what was going to happen in the next week, knowing whether maybe I could or could not go. Um, this has been something that's been weighing on us a lot. and. It seems like the restrictions have just been advisories. So as of this point, we're still able to go down and kind of fulfill that little bit of a Christmas wish for our family. As you know, we lost our dog last uh, February, our other dog. Um, and so this has been a kind of a big step for our family and, and getting another one. And um, so yeah, I'm just very thankful that I'm able to hopefully at this point still be able to go down and grab this puppy for Christmas for the family. And yeah, it's been a weight off my shoulders today. Lots of win. It's my win. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Mm. You get to travel. Not everyone does. Yeah. But the fact they didn't cancel it and they just allowed you to go it in an advisory. Let's hope it yes, stays that these way. These are my <laughs> pants on my head. So. <laughs> okay, Ron. His win was fishing buddy Dave just got out of ICU. Finally getting better from COVID. Super awesome, Ron. And uh, give our give. Give two thumbs up to your buddy Dave. Yeah. Looks like Sheila Carter is spamming us. Boy, yeah, boy. Like Love you too, Doug, buddy. You're freaking awesome human. I appreciate you yeah. more than you know. Our conversation the other day meant the world to me. Uh, thanks for checking in. Thanks for being a good friend. Thanks for being a supporter of everything that we're doing here at Thursday Night Live. Ultimately, thanks for being a part of the Thursday Night Live family. Heck yeah. Jeff, my win is my brother Dustin. He is my rock and one hell of a guy, and the guy I owe my fly fishing passion to. Heck yeah, man. Cam, this win was getting an awesome, super positive, and back padding email sent to my boss for a project that he was working on. It's great to get noticed. Well, Cam, those emails should come more often because you always give a thousand and ten percent in everything you do, and everybody needs a friend like Cam. It was a rough week for Mark, especially today for him. Um, my window was remembering a very special person. Even though it, it was sad, it made me smile at the good memories. I miss you, Dad. Mm. Absolutely. And Mark shared a story on the Fly Fishing Saves Lives podcast, uh, which you guys can listen on Spotify or whatever, and he kind of talks about his dad. So super, super awesome remembering the good times and the memories. Um, I don't think that missing ever goes away. No, I don't think it does either. Steve stumbled onto his first ever midge hatch on the bow in December with his good fishing buddy Clint. We caught a dozen rainbows on a size 18 Griffiths gnat. That is an epic <laughs> That's an day. epic day in December. Jeez. That's an epic day in July. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nate Dog running down sobriety. No drinks in two months. Nice work, man. Oh, John. John, you fished Miami to Key West and back. Didn't catch one, but enjoyed throwing the fly. We tied. I look forward to tonight. Thanks yeah. for joining us, John. Thanks for taking the espresso. Yeah, buddy. Eric's win for the week. Sold his house and will be moving to the farm, hopefully next week. A little nervous for change. And his friend Matt lives in Calgary. Sorry for the spelling. <laughs> uh, looks like TNL is Adrian's win. All you great people. Chaz's win is the TNL fam reaching out and connecting over Facebook. This community is amazing. The people are so kind and like-minded, and he appreciates all of you guys. Love you guys. Mr. Blake Teague himself says, My win for the week was being able to help the TNL family to give to them, as well as getting to watch a show tonight in the parking lot of an airport, picking up my oldest daughter, who is flying in from Colorado. Christmas will be filled, will be family-filled. 
Like, that's what it's all about, man. Thank you for all that you've done and what you've given to this community. is is more than just gifts. And uh, yeah, you're an amazing human. Yeah. Glad we found you. <laughs> you found us. <laughs> you found, I don't know. Sometimes <laughs> we find each other. Yeah. Tom. This kid finally arrived. Yes, we appreciate that, Tom. All a good night. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Mr. Rocky Mountain Fly Shop, although he wasn't able to be out tonight at tracks, he's still watching. Says, Merry Christmas, everyone. Thanks for another great show. I can't wait to see everyone again in the new year. I hope everyone has a great holiday. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> uh, remember, guys, tonight, if you, if you haven't picked up a kit, there's 25% off. Christmas 25, all capital letters. Go, go over to our website. Check out that. It's only good for tonight. And uh, I think there's only five codes. Well, they might even be gone. If it doesn't work, that means they're gone. So head over Christmas 25 if you want 25% off your kit. Only for tonight. And you will get it under the Christmas tree, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Bags win for the week. Had to uh, be getting a, really, a lot of really good feedback. On some content I've been making, really starting to find my voice. Speaking yeah. of voice, his your voiceover was epic. Yeah, your Brook Trout story, well done, Bags. It's good to see you Heck do yeah, it, dude. man. Mr. Bailu, TNL is a blessing. Wish you a happy holiday time and hope you pack as much fun as you can. My win is TNL therapy and winter trapping. Yeah. Yeah, all the best. Tracks Pop Rock on. Yeah. <laughs> See you soon. Art Corey, my win instead of getting to let go from a job of being out 24 plus years because I didn't want to be faxed. Government mandate because we made government parts. It gave me the opportunity to retire a year earlier than expected. Hey man, and you win. are taking a positive out of a very crappy situation that you were forced in. And I am proud of you for that, Art. Well done. Mm -hmm. Mr. Brent, my Brent. win this week. From my, tracks. From tracks. The kid's health after a couple of sports injuries. Secondly, being a part of TNL at Tracks and meeting everybody. We'll see you soon, buddy. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Joe. Merry Christmas, man. Hmm. Grandma Spaghetti for the D'Amico's. <laughs> Isabella's hopefully safe trip back home from Red Deer. That sounds all right. Mr. Sean Allison, my win. 10 years ago, my daughter was going through the most scariest life-changing time. I got six presents on Christmas Day in the hospital. She thankfully got though, and today she purchased $500 plus presents for children in our in our local hospital for the 10th year in a row. The social justice club she started this year in school will be wrapping them up this week. That's <laughs> so amazing. And obviously, Sean, she's just learning from example. It's true. Yeah. Barry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Barry. She could be at tracks with Steve and the gang, but you're stuck at home with the dreaded cold. Uh, fun. Oh, Mr. Mr. This is good. My win is what uh, I'm going to do to Dana when I see him at the show tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I will be there. We got to go, folks. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Craig. Congrats to all the wins this week. We received brutal news tonight, but we'll push through and have a great Christmas. Family is the win. Oh, sorry, Craig, Craig, reach out, man. If yeah. you got to talk. If you can talk, if you want to talk, reach out, man. We're here for you, buddy. Always. Always here. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mark. <laughs> we are the island of misfit toys. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Pizza flavors. For, I can't wait to meet Terry. Oh, I need to eat something. Everyone, let's go. Get some food. Get some drinks for us, guys. <laughs> yeah, order Janine, up. start the car if you're still watching. <laughs> yeah. John Fuller, being alive and having another Christmas with the family is a great win for me. Oh, that is absolutely magical because we don't take for, we take for granted the fact we wake up every day. That's a, that's a, wow. It's hard to imagine having that feeling, John, but yeah. I mean, just to be here with your family is a blessing in itself. Yeah. No show next week, Adrian. Next Christmas. week. Christmas. We're off for the next two weeks. We might show up. I, Tim's gone, but I got I got some ideas. Want to give some more stuff. Uh, Chaz, big hugs to the Rocky Mountain Fly Shop crew. Yeah. News flashback. When this week, setting up my new fly tying table, ready to roll for the season. The weather restricted me from getting to Olds, but it was great to see the TNL rocking it out again. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. News flashback. 
throw us your name. <laughs> yeah, who sure. is this? <laughs> Joel, what's up from Florida? Yeah. Have a wonderful Christmas, brother. Merry Christmas, Joel. Absolutely. Yes, DDs and safe leaving tracks. Yeah. Doug, Merry Christmas. Give him back to the community. That's, yeah. that's, you, you can't find. I told Blake this the other day we we're talking. I said, giving is the most selfish thing you can do because it actually fulfills you more than anyone else. Yeah. And sometimes it's it's hard to receive because it's hard to take things or to get things 100%. for free. But if you rob someone from giving, you are taking that biggest blessing out of their life. It's a yeah. It's, a it's something circle. I'm continually learning, and you yeah. guys are teaching me. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Eric. Steve, Merry wish Christmas, you guys. a beautiful, wonderful Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, bags. Ryan, get in to join yeah. in on this community. Wish I was up in tracks with the crew, but my dad duty calls. We got yeah. more. We got more tracks parties, folks. Oh, yeah, buddy. Warm the car more. up. Janine, if you're still here. <laughs> Start oh, the car. Glenn. I wonder if that's Glenn Pipke. Uh, I think it is. Merry uh, Christmas, Ben. Merry Christmas, Fen. Merry Christmas, buddy. You just always come at the end. <laughs> 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 Caitlin, Merry Christmas. What Merry a great Christmas. group and a night. Thank you so much for organizing Alfredo the Stone Foam over the next week. Happy New Year, Happy Caitlin. New Year. We got it. Yes. Jose, Jose. Merry Christmas. I'll go with Joe. Cole. Oh, this is this is the showstopper. Oh man. My win this week was my birthday was officially the best since Allison said yes and got upgraded to Oh, he's a tracks. Oh, oh see you guys at tracks. Yeah. Pizza is awesome here. All right, we're coming. Oh, the code for the kit is Christmas, Christmas twenty five, all capital letters. Uh, I don't know where it is on here. It's on the other thing. Christmas twenty five gets you twenty five percent off of your kit. Order tonight. I'll get them shipped out some point tomorrow. <laughs> soon as you can. Is this cute? I'm holding my mic like this. It is. It's like a baby. Oh, it's starting to weigh. Like it's in a manger. I think over the holidays, I'm going to have to find myself a smaller microphone. <laughs> can't fit that one in your mouth. <laughs> I can't. I know I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so, Merry Christmas to everybody. Christmas 25, Mark. Give you 25% off. There's five. Five of those codes have been open tonight. Hopefully, there's more that are still there. And get yourself a kit. So... Yeah, buddy. Schwend, appreciate it. If you guys haven't checked it out, you got the Schwend miss going on. On uh, check out the Instagram. He's doing a pretty cool thing over there. It's a uh, brother from another mother, yeah. just a little bit south. A little south. Will not bury the microphone. So, anyways, folks, this is the last time you'll. Uh, maybe not. We don't know. But formally, it's the last time you'll see us together. This year, I uh, guess. This year. This year. Maybe. So Christmas. What a year, 2021 incredible absolutely fantastic another incredible night a christmas yeah. episode we gave so much stuff away thanks to all our sponsors thanks to blake thanks to doug watermaster rocky mountain fly shop fly fusion i wasn't supposed to say that but i spilled the beans you spilled <laughs> it you spilled it. uh norvice and shore fishing and everybody else who continually sends us stuff to give away to you guys to make the show better for everybody who joins in Thanks to all all of you guys. Seriously, you yeah. gave us your time. That is the most valuable asset that you could ever give somebody. And you gave us two hours of your time tonight to sit here and hang out with us and love on each other. And we freaking love you guys so much. Yeah. Everybody at Tracks Pub, pour <laughs> me a cold one. <laughs> Merry Christmas there, Andy. Thanks. Oh yeah. Love you guys. I'm Dana, Five yeah. Shabor, Thursday Night Live, Fly Time. And that's my friend Tim. This Tim. Same stuff. Same Tim stuff. Hepworth. We love you we're guys. Gonna, Merry Christmas. We're gonna take these things off. Merry Woo! Christmas. Let's get and, this party uh, started. We'll see right? you guys in tracks in about ten minutes.